Okay, hi everybody. It is Friday, March 27th, a little after two o'clock. This is Karen and I am recording this video update for you about the USC commencement, my general life plan for the next couple months, and a few other general updates. So this is a private video. This will be available to anyone with the link in the Evite graduation. So feel free to share it with your loved ones, but it is not a public video because I just don't feel like the whole world needs to know. So I thought I would sort of share with you the latest formal update from the university and talk for a few minutes about the general, like what's going on. So we are about 50, maybe 49 days away from commencement, from graduation. And the university has finally released their graduation plan for May 15th. I'm gonna just read it verbatim to you guys and I will email it to you if you need. I've had a lot of trouble with putting a lot of text in the updates on Evite, which is part of why I haven't sent out large updates. Um, and I don't wanna go in and modify the text of the actual invite itself because there's a lot of information in there. We might use it at some point, depending on how things go in the next 30 to 60 days for the country. So I've been trying to avoid spamming you a lot of text and a lot of updates that don't really say anything. But I've received official word from the university, so I'm just going to read it to you right now. Um, our president, Folt, uh, informed the USC community that 2020 commencement exercises will be postponed. Many of our peer universities have announced that they are doing the same. We do, however, want to recognize our students' achievements, so USC will hold a virtual conferring of degrees and a series of online events and speakers in May. We will be updating this site once we have a concrete plan in place for these events. Graduates will, will receive their diplomas by mail. The university does plan to hold an in-person, on-campus celebration for graduates, and a date will be set after more is known about the advance of the pandemic. I know this is not the way that our students hope to cap off their education, but I am confident we can provide online experiences that convey our pride in what they have accomplished, etc. So <clears throat> what that means is that all of the activities leading up to graduation week, which there's a lot of events on campus, have been uh, canceled and moved to a digital forum. The commencement exercises on May 15th will have, have be moved to an online, in an online capacity. Um, and they want to invite us back at a later date to be determined to have an in-person celebration and no one knows when that will be. It could be summer, it could be fall, it could be who knows when, right? So the dinner. Most, some of you know that I have, and for those of you who already know, I apologize, but most of you don't know, is that I have hesitated to cancel the dinner because we are still about 50 days out and we don't know what's gonna happen with the virus. We know that the next this week and probably next week are still gonna be pretty bad, but things might turn around with, with proactive social distancing as we've all been practicing. I know you've been practicing it. So because we don't know where we will be and that for me, my opinion is that you know, 55 days, 59 days is still a long way off, I'm hesitant to cancel the dinner at this point, even though the likelihood is very high. So I have not yet canceled it, but the likelihood is going to be high. So I'm gonna leave it for now. I will update you guys in about a month, maybe a month, maybe about a month and a half. Once we get closer to the date and I can see that we're within two to three weeks of the date, I will know for sure whether or not I'm canceling it, depend on how things go in the country. Of the invite list, there's about 15 or 16 people that are remote, two people who wanted to attend in person, and a three of you are either immune compromised or of a particularly vulnerable population for coronavirus, which is why uh, I really am thinking carefully about even the dinner. So in terms of all of that, uh, let's just say that the likelihood that we're going to have to postpone or delay all the graduation stuff, it will probably be later. In terms of whatever USC wants to provide, because it's a digital format, I would assume that anybody who wants to stream the event for those weeks of May is happy to join me as we do some sort of digital commencement. I have my gown. <laughs> I have my gown. 
I have my cap is being worked on by an artist right now. I have my sash, so I have no trouble in getting dressed for you guys and putting on all the pomp and circumstance. Um, Deepika and I were sort of joking a few weeks ago that even if we all got together for the dinner, we would buy some little toy trumpets on Amazon and kind of like, burr, 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 burr. Um, I might ask you guys to do that. <laughs> so we might do something like that. But let's just say that no matter however commencement looks through the university or with my, my incredible group of friends, we will do it. I know you guys want me to do it and I'm going to do it in some capacity in a way that feels like the celebration it should be. Um, there's no way I could do five and a half years and not like remark or have some sort of celebration. So we are going to do something in some capacity. It's just a matter of when, right? So look into your plane tickets and your accommodations. Make sure you can get refunds or credits for that stuff. Um, as far as whether or not it's going to be here in California, this is a very important question. So California has issued two executive orders. One is that anyone who's had a loss of income from a regular job due to coronavirus is eligible for unemployment. They've also passed an executive order that freelancers can also access unemployment. Even though my work study job is giving me administrative pay for the next five weeks, after that, I will have no income. I won't be able to drive Uber. I won't be able to be on campus to do work study. So my only other job is a very small income from doing accounting work. So I'm looking into doing remote work right now, but it doesn't make sense to me. Oh, I'm sorry. The third thing is California has also passed an executive order that no one can be evicted for lack of ability to pay rent. It doesn't absolve us from our obligation to pay rent, which means we might have to pay it later, but no one can be evicted. And that's a very good protection in California. And I don't see any reason to leave California while I have that protection. So as much as I don't want to be in Los Angeles, and it might be a struggle because I don't have income here, I'm also trying to think through if I don't have work, I don't see a reason to leave California. Um, there is a friend of mine in the Bay Area who has a spare room and I could bring Totoro, but I haven't spoken to him yet. I would be a little bit closer to friends and family in the Bay Area, but, um, and I'd still be able to afford those California protections, but I'm still just unsure about that yet. I need to speak to that friend and find out if that's a real solid plan B. So for those of you that have heard me joke about going to Chicago to stay with Deepika, as much as I want to do that, um, there's unless there's a financial incentive for me to go with a job, then I'm not going to do that. So the plan is staying put in uh, in Los Angeles for a little while after graduation, unless things shift significantly with a job or with the pandemic. So I wanted to let you know about my my travels and the plans therein. So yeah, I would say that for graduation ceremonies, even if it's postponed into summer, there might be a really good chance that even though you got a credit on your flights or your accommodations, the chances you would be coming back here are a little bit more likely in relation to me living in Los Angeles and the fact that the pandemic might be slowing down by summer a little bit with the weather and just with all the, hopefully the shelter in place success that we hope to see and those results within the next 40 to 60 days, which would be around the same time. So my advice is to maybe cancel your plane tickets and cancel your accommodations, get credits and refunds set up, um, but be ready to rebook those um, in about a month, depending on whatever we find out from the world at large. Now that's just my advice. You can do whatever you like, of course. Um, and for those of you that are more sensitive to coronavirus, uh, you definitely need to take your health into account and don't listen to me. Just listen to yourself and your loved ones in relation to your body and your situation. So we're pushing 10 minutes now. So that's the update. I plan to stay in California. It's safer here. <laughs> um, I'm hard at work to finish my degree. Everything is fine here at home. Totoro and I are healthy. Uh, we go out about once a week to get groceries. I go out on a daily walk every day for about 15 minutes. Um, I'm adjusting to life just like we all are. And I love you. And uh, I, I'm not going to lie. There's a part of me, of course, that's quite sad. But I'm just trying to take every day as it comes. And I just want you to know that I'm okay. You know, obviously this is not plan A, but it isn't for anyone. This wasn't pointed at me. So yeah, it's uh, we're just going to adjust and adapt accordingly. Okay? So I love you. 
And uh, if you have questions, you can ping me in the evite. You can always private message me, or you can probably respond to this video as a comment. It will be on YouTube as a private setting. Okay. I love you guys. You're all my pumpkin butts. <laughs> okay.